In this video, we're going to continue on with the point of sale system, and this is part 15. So what we had so far was we have created our button here. Basically, when we select this, we have this plus and minus button. But of course, they're just cosmetic. There's no function in here. However, if you click on this here, you can see that this doesn't delete, but it does recognize the click here, and it deletes the item itself. So what we're going to do here First of all, is to fix this delete button here, and after we're going to work on fixing these here as well. So let's start to work on this here. So this button here, let's search for this. So open up the developer tab, we can start to see, you can see it gets an error, which makes sense because it doesn't delete what it's supposed to delete. So we look in here, we can look at this, and this would be eventually related to the, oh, sorry, that's it's moving a lot here. And then I realized that this is just the delete button. Let's double check here. The delete item. All right, so that's the delete item. So let's search for this specific function here. So to search for that, put in there, delete item, and then we have this value here. And let's double check here as well, the delete item function. That is this one here. And you can see here now, because we have added a few items in here, we need to still put in the arrays in here that is missing. So this was the delete item function. So if I scroll up here, what I'm going to grab here is the array value in here, which is the order item ID array. This is the one that we use. So I'm going to grab this array value here, scroll down here to the specific function that I move too fast and uh, let's see let's search again for the delete item function all right there we are is this one here so then let's see here now what's going on and what do we need to do so we have here the delete item so it will splice the specific item here and what we can do here is the same thing so what we're going to do now is uh, let's see because this will be the harder part let's see we have this one here this array should be spliced with the order id number well maybe even not because we might have here a real challenge so i'm going to put in sp some space between here and then we have to check later on how are we going to increase or decrease the value amount so this is the uh, item id i'll just leave it like that so if I have this one here, we splice this, but let's save this first and see what happens. Select, press on this, all right, it does something here, but it's only behind, or basically under the hood, meaning we're only going to remove right now the array. However, we didn't remove yet this specific item. So how do we do this? So we have here the amount is set on this. If zero, it's all right, all right. And you can see here the remove child. This is based on the order list. And now what we need to do is not the order list, but it's something else more specifically. Let's see what is this specific LI. Uh, we have the order list. And then I realize it will not be the order list, but it's the order list parent. And if you're wondering why the order list parent, well, if you remember, we had it here before. We had this one here, uh, let's see. Oh, sorry, the order item parent. So I'm going to grab this one. Let's go down here and let's see if this will work because I see that one is the order list. Mm, where are we? No, that's too much, sorry. I said now I realize that we are having a lot of functions. All right, so when I search here on delete item, I jump immediately to the right item here. And then let's see here, we have this, and then eventually what we want to do here is the button.parent. And I realize the button.parent, how you did this before, was here. And now this should not be only the button.parent, but it should be the parent, um, the parent parent button. All right, and what I mean by that is because remember, I, if you remember my, this is one of the previous parts, probably 
six or seven, if I'm not mistaken, or even even earlier. We're working on this one here, and this is the parent. So what is the parent here? From this one, the parent is now in the span. But then we need to go to the li, and the li is the parent of the parent, or basically the grandparent. So what we're going to do here now is remove child button. Let's see if we can work on this, because this hasn't worked here. Um, I realize we need to get the item, and then I just deleted or just copied something. All right. So I'm going to have to do it back. I have to go back here, sorry. I'm going to grab the item here. And I think we don't have to do a lot of adjustments if it's only this one here, the order item parent. Let's go back here, search. All right. Here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment this out. I'm going to copy this. Put it in here. And I see this is the order list. This one is the parent. So let's see what happens. Now, if I refresh, select this, if I delete, all right, doesn't work. So now I need to just figure out how do we get this? Because what is really exactly happening is we're going to get the parent of the order item, parent element of the button. Remove the child of, all right. So I'm going to undo this here. Or, well, let's keep uh, that one here. I'll just keep uh, do this here or uh, unhide this, but this one I will hide. Now, I just want to test here one thing. I want to grab here the specific parent parent because basically this is a parent parent item. So if I refresh here, select, and then delete. All right, so there you are. So, why or what did we do? If you remember, as I indicated, this was eventually the view item. It's in here. Um, let's select this again. This button is in the span, and the span here, these are basically children, and this is the parent. And the parent parent that we want to delete is this one here. But this one is basically the the top level. And I would say if this would be the let's say this is the, the children, this is the the parents, and this is the grandparent, and this would be the great grandparents i guess that would be the right term so what we need to go is from here we go one level down to pinpoint this one here and that's basically what we did here so then we have this quickly done and apparently this is quite easy solution after thinking about it so as you can see here some of these things is just more figuring out where do we need to pinpoint them. so if i refresh this what i want to do now is i just want to select multiple delete this delete that and delete this all right try again all these numbers, delete this one, all right, the numbers here should match, that's correct. Then we have this, and there we are. So, now we have this. What I want to do next is basically try to play around with the plus and the minus, or specifically the plus button. What we're going to do is now, we want to increase, and we have here these values here, but I realize that we are, uh, maybe we need to have a value in here indicating how many of these pizzas we have. I guess that's, I totally forgot about it. It should be like a quantity, like 2x, 1x, or what What would be the, uh, or depending on what we selected or how many times we selected. So we need to do here something more. But let's try to work on this first. Because this plus here should just increase this and duplicate this, or multiply this by, uh, by 2, and then the item should be recognized eventually as 2. So let's look now what we're going to do. So for this, what we need to do here is the following. I have to double check where we are going to work on this because this total here or this button here is an independent function. So now I have to really consider where are we going to put an item in. So we have cleared this one. So we have this. If we do this, that one works nicely. So what we want to do now is in, I guess we have this here. What I will say here is the decrement function. And now I realize that we need to still put in a function here. So what I will do is probably let's start and work on the number here first before we do even that one because I need to include the function built in here. So that's what we have to do later on. So let's start to work on one specific item, which is the text note. 
uh, how will we do the text node here so what I will do is basically this I'm going to put in here and what I would like to do is just to put it in here we could put it between here but that's alright for now or if that is really desirable so uh, let's see first uh, where do I need to put it? I need to create a text node and this text node should have a default value of 1 because the moment you select that it is becoming 1. So that's what we have to do here. Um, what I will do here, I'll just put it below here. Then what I will say here, this should be the amount of items, amount items or item text and this by default I go to set this on one it's just a standard value so I'm going to put it in here and I'm, what I want to do here with that is eventually I will append this now it is appended here between just to put them all together um, so I'm going to grab this put that one in there cut this out put it in there save this refresh Select. All right, you can see here now we have something working here. This is a text node. Could do some padding between there. Uh, for now, I will just accept this what it is. Or should we have a padding here? Maybe I realize that this should be a constant or paragraph or span. Let's call this our text. This is span. And then I'll just say here, this will be our span item. Put it in there, say this is span. Once we have the span, what I want to do here is the following. I'm going to append the span and not the text. So we have this text here. So what I'm going to do, put in this, I'll cut this out for now. Put it in there and then what I will do here copy this and I'll just put it here so paste that one in there and then I'll say here amount item should be or sorry this the I'm um, not the amount item but the amount item span cut out and put it in there all right so if you save this refresh now we select um, does it work? Yes, it does, but I, I realize that it has no class yet. So let's add up a quick class in here. And then we're basically done for this. So I'm going to put it in here and I just, I'll just grab this one, add a class name. And let's say here, very simple and straightforward. Padding, X and Y, and then font weight ball. Refresh, select. There we are. Then eventually we would have this plus an a minus we're going to probably work it on the next video and then i'll have to research on how we get these buttons working as well